before it's too late. Every day for millions of years, the humble frog has serenaded the setting sun with its chorus of croaks and calls. From steaming Madagascan jungles to the freezing tundras of Northern Europe, these curious creatures have not only survived where other species have perished, but they have in fact flourished. Over these millennia, frogs have developed a number of unique adaptations. Beginning their life in water as tadpoles. Like fish, they breathe through gills, but curiously, they also have to take in oxygen through a vast network of tiny blood vessels just under their skin's outer layer. Frog skin, you see, is permeable, meaning it lets water in and out. They rarely drink from their mouths, but instead absorb water from their surroundings through the skin, storing it in a seat pouch on their bellies. Most frogs are also nocturnal and are equipped with a mirror-like layer in the back of their eyes. This adaptation allows them to reflect light at night, giving them a kind of searchlight for hunting. Frogs are not cold-blooded. Instead, they get heat from their environment. And they can also control their body temperature by changing color to affect how much heat they can absorb from the sun, or by absorbing or evaporating water through their skins. And frogs make a variety of noises. They don't just croak, some can even be mistaken for motorcycles. The secret to their dominance that has seen these remarkable creatures outlive the dinosaurs and even survive several ice ages has until only recently never been explored. For centuries, ancient cultures have known something of the mysterious powers of the frog, using them for their own ends to kill or cure. In the world's jungles, indigenous tribes distill poison from a frog's skin to tip their deadly blow darts and arrows. Whilst in Asia, Traditional herbalists have concocted medicines from frogs to treat heart disease and a whole range of other ailments. Belonging to the class of vertebrate called amphibia, meaning creatures that live both in water and on land, frogs have burrowed themselves deep into the heart of our cultural mythology, where they are both revered and reviled because of their ability to transform. The princess didn't hesitate. Very gently, she leaned down and kissed the frog. In fairy tales, when the princess kissed a frog and set her prince free, she broke the witch's curse and forever created the promise of living happily ever after. But what is it about the frog that has allowed it to become such a part of our mythology? 
Is it possibly because these unique creatures in fact do have some kind of supernatural ability? In many countries throughout the world, townsfolk tell tales of frogs encased in stone, only for them to miraculously emerge decades later as if from some kind of suspended animation. Though often dismissed as fairy tale, newspaper reports of a modern day incident in New Zealand might suggest otherwise. Laurie Andrews was in charge of an excavation team working four metres below an existing riverbed when his team made a startling discovery. Leading fitter, Ashley Kent, was there trimming up the back of a bank before we started the machine and he hit one of these sedimentary mudstones just with a spade and it split. And um, that's when he brought one of the frogs around to me. It was black, about an inch and a half long. I'd never seen a frog like it in my life. And it was alive because we touched the eye of it and it retracted. I think it's quite a common occurrence in, in Australia that they hibernate for several years and then come back again. But this would have been longer than several years. Several centuries, I'd have say. For scientists, like the University of Adelaide's Professor Michael Tyler, these tales only go to fuel the mystique that has always surrounded these animals. I think we have to accept that in terms of their general appearance, frogs must be amongst the most conservative of creatures there are. It's in their biology that they are so variable, the incredible range of things that they're capable of doing, the way in which they breed, their adaptations to light, dark, cold and heat. That's where they are so very special. In our modern era, science is beginning to prove that in fact truth is stranger than fiction. And along the way, researchers are beginning to unlock the frog's secrets. Secrets that could potentially provide a vast new pharmacopoeia for humanity. Imagine if we could harness the frog's ability to regrow limbs. It could mean the end of physical deformities or allow doctors to replace limbs lost or amputated due to road trauma or war. Even more fantastic is Australia's stuttering frog. Scientists believe that once it reaches maturity, it appears to stop aging, staying forever young. If we could unlock those secrets, could we finally discover the secret to immortality?